So it looks like the PC version of Final Fantasy 16 might be hitting sometime soon as the game's graphical drivers have been discovered by some folks on the internet. So we're going to discuss when we could potentially see not only the game on PC, but its demo and what kind of cool stuff could potentially be incorporated in the PC version of 16. So if any of that sounds cool to you, feel free to click the like button. And if you're new here and you'd like to stick around, you can subscribe, leave a comment or smash the bell icon with a heat wave attack so that way you get notified whenever I have a new video uploaded. I know people probably get tired of hearing that, I get tired of saying that, <laughs> but engagement drives YouTube and it's just really nice to see you guys get involved and talk and you know take the time to actually watch these videos. It's super cool. So getting to that PC version of Final Fantasy 16, this information is coming to us from Wario64 on Twitter, who says Final Fantasy 16 PC apparently has a game ready driver profile in NVIDIA game ready and studio driver 560.81 released this morning, which means that this new graphical update for the NVIDIA drivers is out there. And within that information, driver information for Final Fantasy 16 was included. However, it wasn't noted publicly, so they just kind of snuck it in there to prepare for something upcoming which is signaling to people, oh, this PC version must be coming out pretty soon. And then to kind of coincide with that, Audrey over on Twitter has noted that the Japanese Final Fantasy 16 Twitter account has started posting character bios again, just to kind of familiarize people with some of the characters, with the ones that are currently up being Ambrosia and Rodney. So it kind of feels like maybe they're gearing up for an announcement of sorts to just kind of get people ready, which should be that long awaited PC version. As we know, in previous videos we've covered, Yoshi P has said they're trying to get the game out on other platforms, potentially including Xbox, but they did say that they're looking to get the PC release of 16 out sometime by the end of the year. And of course, the end of the year is coming up rather soon. So when could we see the PC version of this game or even the demo? I don't think they're gonna just shadow drop it out of nowhere like some people online are speculating, but there are two upcoming events that could be a really good spot to announce the PC version of the game. The first one being Gamescom. Now I don't know for sure if Square Enix is going to be attending this event, but it is another Jeff Keighley event and Gamescom tends to go pretty big. You know, we know Keighley, <laughs> he likes to get his exclusives. So they could really have a trailer at Gamescom if they wanted to, that takes place uh, towards the end of this month, I believe on August 20th. Now the other option, and this one might be a little bit more likely, and that would be Tokyo Game Show 2024, which is taking place towards the end of September like it normally does. And again, uh, Tokyo Game Show just seems to be getting bigger and bigger every single year. I remember years ago when, you know, I started covering Final Fantasy again consistently with things like Crisis Core and 16, which both showed up at Tokyo Game Show and had pretty big weeks at that event. And then you've got Rebirth, which also had a you know big time at Tokyo Game Show. And granted, 16 has already been released and this would essentially just be a new version but again you could have a trailer show up at Tokyo Game Show that's specifically for the PC version and if you really wanted to at the very end not only could you give the date of when the PC version is going to release but then you could also shadow drop a demo letting people know hey if you want to try out the demo right now you can go to Steam and download the demo and try it out for yourself so those are the two events upcoming where I could see this game you know getting brought up again for PC otherwise I think the only other option would be the Game Awards and that's way at the end of the year in December. And I don't think they're gonna to wanna to wait that long to get the PC version out there. And again, you know, this is gonna be pretty exciting. You know, I'm pretty far removed from 16 at this point, at least in terms of the main story. I did play the most recent and last piece of DLC, The Rising Tide. And for the most part, I thought it was pretty fun. Kind of fixed a lot of the issues I had with the main game in terms of like pacing and side quests and how many side quests you could do. But it'll be super exciting to see how well the PC version does. And uh, I used this example recently when we were talking about sales for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and how at the time Rebirth was was the fifth best selling game of 2024, which I thought was pretty impressive. And how a PC version coming out could also boost sales for Rebirth. And I think it would be the same situation for Final Fantasy 16. Again, there's still a lot of people out there that have PlayStation 4s that did not want to pay 500 plus dollars to buy a PlayStation 5 just to play one game or two games. So they missed out on Final Fantasy 16, unfortunately. But having the game come out on PC means another larger audience could get their hands on it, experiment with 
with it, play it, but it also can help boost the sales of the console version because it puts the game back out there and maybe people who originally wanted to play it, maybe now they have a PlayStation 5 or maybe now they're willing to get a PlayStation 5, especially since they're way more plentiful to find, at least in my area. You know, if I go to my local Walmart, they have like three or four PlayStation 5s just sitting in the security case waiting to be purchased. And I'll use the example I did in the Rebirth video with Ghost of Tsushima, which sold really, really well overall before it even hit PC. I think it sold like over 8 million units just on PS4 and PlayStation 5 combined, which is insane. That's a fantastic game. If you haven't played it, please check it out. It's phenomenal. But back in May, the PC version of Tsushima came out. It sold relatively well on PC and in turn helped boost sales again on the console side of things. So again, these things kind of work in tandem with one another. People see the PC version, it sells on PC, and then people will turn around and maybe try it again on console for the first time and hopefully enjoy what they're playing. And there's also been some news coming out recently about Square Enix financial numbers and how they're not great. I believe sales have dropped compared to last year, which you have to take into consideration. Last year had kind of like a one-two punch of Final Fantasy 16, as well as the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters. So those were two games that were able to boost sales. And again, 16, when that released on PS5, did, I believe, around 3 million units in one week. And then as more information came out, it seems like the sales for that game slowed down. But of course, Yoshi P Square Enix had an 18 month plan of how they were going to plan to boost sales for that game. And I'm pretty sure that also includes this PC version. And what's really impressive is that basically what's keeping Square Enix afloat right now is Final Fantasy 14. I know at one point in time, 14 was the most popular MMO on the planet, and it might still be that way. I, I constantly see people on Twitter talking about 14 and how they're trying to play the game and how there's still like really packed queues to get into certain servers. I myself have only played a tiny bit of 14. I'm not really big on MMOs, but the fact that that game is still doing as well as it is and is basically keeping Square afloat right now is pretty impressive. And I've mentioned this in previous videos, but what Square Enix is going through right now is basically what Capcom was going through many, many moons ago where they were in the dump man. Financially, they were not doing well. Their games were kind of doing okay, but they were in a rut. They were able to restructure and now they're flourishing and having, you know, this cap god renaissance. And I think if Square Enix can do the same, they'll be in a similar position to Capcom maybe a few years from now where they're able to have massive sales and have games that are multi-platform and just overall are a much healthier company in terms of financials, but also the products that they're putting out. Now, in terms of what we could see with the PC version of 16, the biggest one is a graphics and performance boost. The game already looks really good on a PlayStation 5 and performs relatively well. Again, I did have some issues with frame rate here and there and certain sections of the game, but overall, when the game needs to perform, it can perform and pull off some really massive stuff in terms of technical aspects of, you know, graphics and particle effects and how many enemies are on screen. It's incredibly impressive. And I think about that and translating it to the PC side of things and seeing this game run on a maxed out beefy PC is going to be something super special. I cannot imagine how good the characters are going to look, environments, a smooth buttery frame rate that goes over 100 frames per second, the amount of particle effects that you can now add because you don't have to worry about you know console limitations, adding more detail into the icons themselves is probably going to be happening as well. And then of course, it's gonna include all of the DLC that's been released so far. So seeing how much more they can squeeze out of this game on a technical level for the PC version uh, is something I'm just really excited to see. And then of course, with any PC release, I think this is what gets people the most excited would be mods. The modding community on PC for video games is massive. Anywhere from something simple as, oh, I created a new outfit for a character to people going out of their way to mess with game design and change how characters play or change certain aspects of, you know, the mechanics in a game. And I'm curious to see what the community does with 16. Um, first off, can we add a sprint button? <laughs> One of the most annoying little nitpicks I had about 16 was that Clive wouldn't just start sprinting the moment you ran. He would have to run for like maybe five or 10 seconds and then he would break into a big sprint to allow him to start running faster. And that was just an automatic thing. You didn't have a sprint button. You couldn't use that, <laughs> unfortunately, through regular gameplay. Um, are they going to have changes to the iconic abilities? Are they gonna change the way they look? Are they gonna change the amount that you can use at any given time. 
because with the main game, you are locked to three iconic ability sets at any given time. So are people gonna push past that? Are they gonna do four? Are they gonna do five? Are they gonna grant you access to every iconic set all at once, which could make for some crazy gameplay stuff. There's of course modding the characters, you know, do the characters now look different? Is someone going to give Clive a new outfit? Are they going to, you know, do what modders love to do and swap out character models? So are we going to have, you know, a Final Fantasy 16 on PC where we can mod in Cloud from Rebirth or from 7 Remake technically. And now we're playing through the game with, you know, a visual of Cloud instead or Squall or Sephiroth. Can we turn Jill into Jill from Resident Evil? <laughs> There's so many possibilities. Um, Torgal, you know, change Torgal into Red 13 or something else crazy like that. So there's endless possibilities when it comes to the modding community. And I think that's another aspect too that can boost sales is people just wanting to, you know, dive deep into the game files and see what they can change and what can be added and just really be creative and kind of take that ball and run with it and then put it out to, you know, the rest of the modding community that can then experiment with all this cool stuff. It's really fun. And again, those possibilities there are pretty endless. And again, that makes me even more excited to see Rebirth eventually head to PC and see what crazy stuff people are going to come up with for that game too. Granted, the PC I'm using right now couldn't run a PC version of Rebirth. It's definitely not going to be able to run a PC version of 16. It can barely run Chivalry 2. <laughs> when I play Chivalry 2 on my computer, the graphics are essentially downgraded to like a PlayStation 3 or 360 type of game. It's really that bad. Um, I'd really love to save up for a new computer, get something much more reliable, faster. Um, that can also help me improve my editing. You know, right now my editing is kind of slow because of my limitations on my hardware. Rendering takes forever because my graphics card is like a little cheapy $60 card that came with the computer. I also have issues with my microphone audio, which I'm sure you guys can hear from time to time where stuff just cuts in and out. And I've tried a plethora of different microphones and they all have the same effect. So something weird is going on with my computer that causes that audio effect in particular to happen. And it's super annoying and I wish I, I could find a way to fix it. And that also reminds me that I actually do have a thanks button. I didn't see this for the longest time on my channel, but apparently if you want, you can hit the thanks button and leave a tip. Um, I don't know why you would. <laughs> These videos are free. I ramble so much and I laugh way too much. But if you ever feel generous one day, I guess there's a button down there where you can throw a dollar my way. Either way, thank you to everyone for watching the video. That is the video itself. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think so far of this NVIDIA graphics driver leak for Final Fantasy 16? Are you gonna try out the game on the PC side of things? And what are you most looking forward to in terms of mods for Final Fantasy 16? I am Curious Corduroy. I will see you guys in the next video. Please remember to always be excellent to one another.